Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the given matrix of order 3. As a first step, we have to write the characteristic equation, which is nothing but A minus lambda i determinant equal to 0. So, the first element will be 6 minus lambda, then other two elements are as it is. Then in the second row, 14, then minus 13, minus lambda, then 10, then 7, minus 6, and 4 minus lambda. And it is the whole determinant equal to 0. Now we are going to expand this. So 6 minus lambda into, we have to take this 4 elements. So minus 13 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus of this. If I multiply it is minus 60. Now it is plus 60 after subtraction. Then plus 6 into. We have to take the opposite sign. Actually we have to take a negative and already there is a minus 6. So it become plus 6. Now we have to consider these 4 elements. So 14 into 14 into 4 minus lambda minus 70. In the last element 5 into 14 into minus 6. So it is minus 6 4s are 24. Then 2 6 1s are 6. 7 8. Then here both are minus. But anyway we have to subtract. Then 7 into we have to multiply these two. Equal to 0. Now in the next step we have to write 6 minus lambda as it is. Then minus 13 into 4. So minus 52. Then plus 13 lambda. Then minus 4 lambda plus lambda square plus 60. Then plus 6 into 14 into 4. 56 minus 14 lambda minus 70. Then plus 5 into this is minus 84 plus 91 plus 7 lambda equal to 0. Then the next step, the first term 6 minus lambda is written as it is. Here first we will write the lambda square. Then lambda term if I combine, we get 9 lambda. Then these two numbers 60 minus 52 plus 8. Then plus 6 into, let us write the lambda term, minus 14 lambda, then 56 minus 70, which is minus 14, then plus 5 into 7 lambda, and it is plus 7, that is 91 minus 84, which is equal to 0. Now, we have to multiply the 6 inside, so 6 lambda square, plus 54 lambda plus 48 minus lambda cube minus 9 lambda square minus 8 lambda. Then you have to multiply the 6 inside. So minus 84 lambda then minus 84 then plus 35 lambda plus 35 equal to 0. Now let us rearrange first lambda cube term minus lambda cube. Then after that we have to combine the square term. So we have one square here and another square here. So lambda square term. So 6 lambda square minus lambda minus 9 lambda square is minus 3 lambda square. Then lambda term. So lambda term is 54 minus 8 minus 84 then 35. So if I combine everything we get minus 3. So minus 3 lambda then all the constants 48 minus 84 plus 35 which is minus 1 equal to 0 and we have to change the sign throughout. So lambda cube plus 3 lambda square plus 
3 lambda plus 1 equal to 0. This is nothing but lambda plus 1 whole cube equal to 0. From this, we get 3 values of lambda. All the 3 are minus 1. So, these are the 3 eigenvalues. So, it is a minus 1, but we have a repeated values. By equating individual factor, it is actually whole cube. So, lambda plus 1 into lambda plus 1 into lambda plus 1. Equating individually all the terms to 0, we get 3 values for the lambda, which is minus 1. Now, we are going to find the eigenvector. So, we will take let x1 be the eigenvector corresponding to the value of lambda minus 1. And here we will take x1 is having 3 elements x1, x2, x3. For finding x1, we have to take a minus lambda i matrix, we have to multiply with x1 and equate to 0. Let us take a minus lambda i from this determinant already, we have calculated its determinant value. So, all these elements we have taken it here into x1, x2, x3 which is equal to 0. Now, in place of lambda, we have to substitute minus 1. By substituting minus 1, the first element will be 7 minus 6, 5. Then this is 14. When I put minus 1, it will become minus 12, then 10. Then again 7 minus 6, 5. And this we have to multiply with x1, x2, x3. So, here we take x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. When we multiply, we take the first row and multiply with the corresponding elements of this first column. In the same way, we do it for other row also. But here we notice 7x1 minus 6x2 plus 5x3 equal to 0. This is our first equation. In the same way, 14x1 minus 12x2 plus 10x3 equal to 0. This is our second equation. Again, 7x1 minus 6x2 plus 5x3 equal to 0. This is our third equation. But we notice all the three equations are same. First and third are same. Second equation after dividing by 2, again it is going to be similar to the first equation. So, all the three equations are same. So, we cannot take any two equation and use a cross multiplication method in the, as in the case of the previous problem. So, if I take like this, then we get all the values of x1, x2, x3 as 0. So, that is not the correct procedure. So, here we will assume the value. Let us take the simple equation, the first equation 7 and here I am going to take x1 equal to 0. If x1 is 0, the first term will be 0. Minus 6 x2 plus 5 x3 equal to 0. Then we get minus 6 x2 equal to minus 5 x3. You can cancel the minus sign. Then this can be written as x2 by 5 equal to x3 by 6. So we got the values of x2 and x3, 5 and 6 and x1 is 0. Therefore, our eigenvector x1 will be 0, 5, 6. In the same way, if I work out for lambda equal to minus 1 by taking the another value because they are repeated value. Again, we get the similar three equations and all will be same equations. So, again we have to take some value of x1 as 0 and proceed. So, now straight away let us assume the value of x2 as 0 in this simple equation. Like how we have taken x1 as 0, now I am going to take x2 as 0. Now, 7x1 plus 5x3 will be remaining. So, 7x1 plus 5x3 equal to 0. Then from this 7 x1 equal to minus 5 x3. So, x1 by 
minus 5 equal to x3 by 7. So we get the value of the eigenvector x2 as x1 is minus 5, x2 is 0 and x3 is 7. Now in the same way, let us take x3 as 0. When x3 is 0, in the simplest equation, we get 7x1 minus x2, 6x2 equal to 0. 7x1 minus 6x2 equal to 0. From this, you can carry this term to the other side. 7x1 equal to 6x2. So x1 by 6 equal to x2 by 7. So we are getting the another eigenvector as 6, then 7 and x3 is 0. So, so we got 3 eigenvalues which are the repeated values minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and corresponding to all the values of eigenvalues we got the 3 eigenvectors. So x1, x2 and x3.